Good evening, or morning, if you're tuning in from different time zones. It could be afternoon, I guess. One benefit of having a virtual concert is that people that aren't in Courtenay or in the Comox Valley are able to tune in, so that's pretty fantastic. Hello, my name is Marcos. I am the head audio at the Sid Williams Theater. Besides doing audio, I'm also doing video editing for various recordings that we make as well. Live streaming is basically, you take a bunch of camera footage, a bunch of sound, mix it all together, put it out on the internet so that people can access the show. Live stream, streaming brings the stage into your home. Everybody wants the theater, the social aspect. There's nothing like being in an audience when everybody's laughing. My name is Andrew Taylor. I am head of lighting at the Sid here, so I deal with all the things you see on the stage, lighting-wise, getting things good and ready to go for cameras and, and all that sort of thing. You know, the theater for years has always, uh, it's always, it's a community-based place, right? And it's always been like we're trying to bring events and entertainment to the community. And during COVID, with all these different restrictions and things that uh, we can't do, it was one of those avenues that was like, hey, this is how we can bring creativity and art to the community. Well, hello, I'm Patrick Emery. I've been here for almost 30 years at the Sid Williams Theatre. Uh, my position here is technical director. I am in charge of all technical aspects, uh, performances and rehearsals coming into the venue. Oh, this year has been a change for everybody and live streaming is important because culture and entertainment are important to your mental health. Without it, we go back into ourselves. We need it to connect with other people. We are a gregarious species and we just miss interacting. So it's just healthier. Live streaming can bring the opportunity to bring your product to so many pr um, people who would not be able to normally get to it. You know, and especially in this last year with the seniors not being able to get out and they are a large proportion of our audience here in Comox Valley. To take the aspect of performance away from them and entertainment away from them, live streaming is being a lifesaver for a lot of them. They're the most vulnerable of us. We need to support them and one way we can support them is to bring energy and life to them because they can't come to us. So we have to show them our love. I think it's super important to keep people connected. There's so many different live streaming things on a global level for people to see and entertainment to see, but you lose that community connection when you go to a global level. So when you can, you know, when the SID can provide that and like some of the, some of the things the SID's able to do with some of the local theater groups um, will just allow that community to continue on thriving. We started live streaming shortly after COVID. We, me and uh, me, Patrick and Marcos dove pretty quickly into the equipment side of it and what we needed to have to be able to do virtual events. I am a lighting designer, but for live streaming, I am the main uh, videographer. In a regular TV studio, they'd have operators for every single camera. Here, because of the costs and expenses, we have one operator running three cameras who is doing the switching. We got a grant to bring in some new equipment. It's three cameras that are all remotely controlled. They're called PTZ cameras, which is uh, pan, tilt, and zoom. I run the three cameras that we have in system as well as the switching, uploading the system to the net for the viewing. What I have up there is the main streaming unit, which gives me a overview of all the camera shots, computer inputs if I have to do graphic overlays, and a recording unit to record each line separately so that if a group wants to take the material away and turn it into a video afterwards, we can supply them with the video at the same time. Basically what I do is I mix all the microphones. Most of the time when we have a theater show, we'll have people using these kind of clip-on wireless mics like I have on right now. I will listen on headphones and I will send a mix up to the streaming unit that mixes what comes in from the cameras with the sound. As an engineer, as an audio engineer, nobody performs exactly the same every night, so you have to watch everybody. Some people give a lot one day and then not so much the next day. And I'm no longer mixing for the room, so I don't really spend a lot of time on the sound of the overall room anymore. Before, that was my main emphasis, was making sure it was good for everybody in the audience. Now that doesn't 
really matter anymore. It's all about mixing for the stream, so you use headphones. I make a lot of what you see here on the stage, lighting, color, all that sort of thing happen. Um, I work really closely with Patrick in the video side of things as well. And what I see in the booth is a monitor that has the live stream feed. It's got the camera feed to it. So in that, I'm working with the different looks on the stage, the beams of light you see, the haze you see, the front lighting, being able to see people's faces, all of that. So during a live streaming event, I'm monitoring the camera still to make sure that things are looking good for the camera as well as live. Any of the depth that you see on the stage is very different in a camera versus live sitting in a seat. My goal for it is to try to create as close to a live presentation as we can. Trying to give the people the view from the audience of what they would be seeing if they were, on, if they were in the theater. Live streaming is a way that we can all be at a show together again. We can't have live shows at the moment. But here is an opportunity for all of us to see the same show and discuss it afterwards. We can go online, we can go on Facebook and talk about what was the show we just saw. Did you see, did you see what happened?